Go. Hello, I'm Richard Baker. Um, I did the documentary photography course HND in uh, 84 to 86, so while I didn't graduate, we weren't given gowns and mortarboards to wear, but I certainly had a, a piece of embossed paper that told someone I was a competent photographer, so 25 years later I'm still doing it. I'm still making pictures fairly regularly. I'm uh, engaging with magazines and book writers and publishers. And uh, so I have it all to thank for the people whose photography was gracing the prospectus that I somehow found in the library somewhere um, and uh, met them eventually as felt like meeting royalty really when I made that pilgrimage up the M4 to meet them uh, for my interview uh, and to discuss with them well I remember the, telling them that I wanted to be a National Geographic photographer that was the only thing that mattered to me I had read them since I was very young so seeing uh, pictures that represented the world was fairly important to me I suppose what uh, what Newport taught me was well it gave me a, a sense of uh, a visual interpretation on the world that I hadn't appreciated before. I was noticing different things that I uh, was otherwise ignoring on the South End seafront that uh, I, I started taking pictures. Trying to emulate people like Tony Ray Jones um, in my naivety. I was a kid from Essex who had no real idea what was going on in the world really. Um, Mid-80s, miners strike. Um, started getting onto uh, the minibuses at 3am to go with people like uh, Dave Williams and uh, Martin Shakespeare to learn really what Thatcher's Britain uh, was becoming um, and to see the police battering the hell out of uh, the miners really had a profound effect on me. So although I didn't become a politico I, uh, I started um, noticing things a lot more um, in depth and uh, it affected me quite a way to I suppose it took me two years later to uh, to find my feet in London to start working for the Observer and to join an agency and to travelling around the world all over again, not as an, M an airport employee as I was before, but to uh, become a reportage photographer. Uh, had a book published, uh, had shows, uh, done some amazing things, seen some amazing things, and um, so I have to thank people like um, David, of course. Paul, Ron, Sue Packer, Clive, Ian Yeomans. Um, we've got this picture here, which is the class of 86. Here we all are as young 20-somethings. I think the average age was about 30, and uh, the youngest here is Mike Steele. He was 18, I think, at the time. He went on to become an eminent sports photographer. I think he's covered just about every Olympics going since then. So we have Bill Robinson, Brett Hambling, Suzanne Harrison, Sarah Brocklesby, Paul McCaffrey, Helen Millage, Adrian Clack, uh, Barbara, um, Dougie McGregor, and here we have uh, Paul, David, Ian, Ron, Clive. Um, it's a happy time. I think the more I got wet, the sore on my feet, the happier I was. And um, that's a testament to uh, the way it was set up and the way it was managed. And um, I have to uh, offer my congratulations and salutations to everyone. Uh, Paul to for organising this. So happy birthday Newport College of Art and um, see you soon. Thanks very much.